Fantasy films are films that belong to the fantasy genre with fantastic themes, usually magic, supernatural events, mythology, folklore, or exotic fantasy worlds. The genre is considered a form of speculative fiction alongside science fiction films and horror films, although the genres do overlap. Fantasy films often have an element of magic, myth, wonder, escapism, and the extraordinary. Topic: Subgenres. Several subcategories of fantasy films can be identified, although the delineations between these subgenres, much as in fantasy literature, are somewhat fluid. The most common fantasy subgenres depicted in movies are high fantasy and sword and sorcery. Both categories typically employ quasi-medieval settings, wizards, magical creatures and other elements commonly associated with fantasy stories. High fantasy films tend to feature a more richly developed fantasy world, and may also be more character-oriented or thematically complex. Often, they feature a hero of humble origins and a clear distinction between good and evil set against each other in an epic struggle. Many scholars cite J.R.R. Tolkien's The Lord of the Rings novel as the prototypical modern example of high fantasy in literature, and the recent Peter Jackson film adaptation of the books is a good example of the high fantasy subgenre on the silver screen. Sword and sorcery movies tend to be more plot-driven than high fantasy and focus heavily on action sequences, often pitting a physically powerful but unsophisticated warrior against an evil wizard or other supernaturally endowed enemy. Although sword and sorcery films sometimes describe an epic battle between good and evil similar to those found in many high fantasy movies, they may alternately present the hero as having more immediate motivations, such as the need to protect a vulnerable maiden or village, or even being driven by the desire for vengeance. The 1982 film adaptation of Robert E. Howard's Conan the Barbarian, for example, is a personal story concerning the hero's quest for revenge and his efforts to thwart a single megalomaniac—while saving a beautiful princess in the process. Some critics refer to such films by the term sword and sandal rather than sword and sorcery, although others would maintain that the sword and sandal label should be reserved only for the subset of fantasy films set in ancient times on the planet Earth, and still others would broaden the term to encompass films that have no fantastic elements whatsoever. To some, the term sword and sandal has pejorative connotations, designating a film with a low-quality script, bad acting, and poor production values. Another important subgenre of fantasy films that has become more popular in recent years is contemporary fantasy. Such films feature magical effects or supernatural occurrences happening in the real world of today. Films with live action and animation such as Disney's Mary Poppins, Pete's Dragon, Enchanted, and the Robert Zemeckis film Who Framed Roger Rabbit are also fantasy films although are more often referred to as live action, animation hybrids two of those are also classified as musicals. Fantasy films set in the afterlife, called Bangzian fantasy, are less common, although films such as the 1991 Albert Brooks comedy Defending Your Life would likely qualify. Other uncommon subgenres include historical fantasy and romantic fantasy, although 2003's Pirates of the Caribbean, The Curse of the Black Pearl successfully incorporated elements of both. As noted above, superhero movies and fairy tale films might each be considered subgenres of fantasy films, although most would classify them as altogether separate movie genres. Topic. Fantasy movies and the film industry As a cinematic genre, fantasy has traditionally not been regarded as highly as the related genre of science fiction film. Undoubtedly, the fact that until recently fantasy films often suffered from the sword and sandal Afflictions of inferior production values, over-the-top acting, and decidedly poor special effects was a significant factor in fantasy films' low regard. 
Since the early 2000s, however, the genre has gained new respectability in a way, driven principally by the successful adaptations of J.R.R. Tolkien's The Lord of the Rings and J.K. Rowling's Harry Potter series. Jackson's The Lord of the Rings trilogy is notable due to its ambitious scope, serious tone, and thematic complexity. These pictures achieved phenomenal commercial and critical success, and the third installment of the trilogy became the first fantasy film ever to win the Academy Award for Best Picture. The Harry Potter series has been a tremendous financial success, has achieved critical acclaim for its design, thematic sophistication and emotional depth, grittier realism and darkness, narrative complexity, and characterization, and boasts an enormous and loyal fanbase. Following the success of these ventures, Hollywood studios have greenlighted additional big-budget productions in the genre. These have included adaptations of the first, second, and third books in C.S. Lewis' The Chronicles of Narnia series and the teen novel Aragon, as well as adaptations of Susan Cooper's The Dark is Rising, Cornelia Funker's Inkheart, Philip Pullman's The Golden Compass, Holly Black's The Spiderwick Chronicles, Nickelodeon's TV show Avatar, The Last Airbender, and the Fantasia segment along with Johann Wolfgang von Goethe's original poem. The Sorcerer's Apprentice Fantasy movies in recent years, such as The Lord of the Rings films, the first and third Narnia adaptations, and the first, second, fourth and seventh Harry Potter adaptations have most often been released in November and December. This is in contrast to science fiction films, which are often released during the Northern Hemisphere summer June -August. All three installments of the Pirates of the Caribbean fantasy films, however, were released in July 2003, July 2006, and May 2007 respectively, and the latest releases in the Harry Potter series were released in July 2007 and July 2009. The huge commercial success of these pictures may indicate a change in Hollywood's approach to big-budget fantasy film releases. History Fantasy films have a history almost as old as the medium itself. However, fantasy films were relatively few and far between until the 1980s, when high-tech filmmaking techniques and increased audience interest caused the genre to flourish. What follows are some notable fantasy films. For a more complete list see, List of Fantasy Films. Topic: 1900 to 1920s. In the era of silent film, the earliest fantasy films were those made by French film pioneer Georges Méliès from 1903. The most famous of these was 1902's A Trip to the Moon. In the golden age of silent film 1918 to 1926, the most outstanding fantasy films were Douglas Fairbanks' The Thief of Baghdad 1924, Fritz Lang's Die Nibelungen 1924, and Destiny 1921. Other notables in the genre were F.W. Murnau's romantic ghost story Phantom, Tarzan of the Apes starring Elmo Lincoln, and D.W. Griffith's The Sorrows of Satan. Topic: 1930s. Following the advent of sound films, audiences of all ages were introduced from 1937's Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs to 1939's The Wizard of Oz. Also notable of the era, the iconic 1933 film King Kong borrows heavily from the Lost World subgenre of fantasy fiction as does such films as the 1935 adaptation of H. Ryder Haggard's novel She about an African expedition that discovers an immortal queen known as Aisha. She who must be obeyed. Frank Capra's 1937 picture Lost Horizon transported audiences to the Himalayan fantasy kingdom of Shangri-La, where the residents magically never age. 
Other noteworthy fantasy films of the 30s include Tarzan the Ape Man in 1932 starring Johnny Weissmuller starting a successful series of talking pictures based on the fantasy adventure novels by Edgar Rice Burroughs and the G.W. Pabst directed The Mistress of Atlantis from 1932. 1932 saw the release of the Universal Studios monster movie The Mummy which combined horror with a romantic fantasy twist. More light-hearted and comedic affairs from the decade include films like 1934's romantic drama film Death Takes a Holiday where Frederick March plays Death who takes a human body to experience life for three days and 1937's Topper where a man is haunted by two fun-loving ghosts who try to make his life a little more exciting. Topic 1940s The 1940s then saw several full-color fantasy films produced by Alexander Korda, including The Thief of Baghdad 1940, a film on par with The Wizard of Oz, and Jungle Book 1942. In 1946, Jean Cocteau's classic adaptation of Beauty and the Beast won praise for its surreal elements and for transcending the boundaries of the fairy tale genre. Sinbad the Sailor 1947, starring Douglas Fairbanks Jr., has the feel of a fantasy film though it does not actually have any fantastic elements. Several other pictures featuring supernatural encounters and aspects of Bangzian fantasy were produced in the 1940s during World War II, these include Beyond Tomorrow, The Devil and Daniel Webster, and Here Comes Mr. Jordan, all from 1941, Heaven Can Wait The Musical Cabin in the Sky 1943, the comedy The Horn Blows at Midnight and romances such as The Ghost and Mrs. Muir 1947, One Touch of Venus and Portrait of Jenny, both 1948. An astonishing anticipation of the full sword and sorcery genre was made in 1941 in Italy by Alessandro Blazetti. La Corona di Ferro presents the struggles of two imaginary kingdoms around the legendary Iron Crown, historically the ancient crown of Italy, with war, cruelty, betrayal, heroism, sex, magic, and mysticism, a whirl of events taken from every possible fairy tale and legend source Blazetti could find. This movie is unlike anything done before, indeed, considering that it was finished 15 years before the publication of Lord of the Rings, its invention of a vast, national epic mythology is an act of genius. And while the storytelling is rough, due to the need to insert everything, and the resources limited, Blazetti shows how to make a little go a long way through beautifully staged and designed battle and crowd scenes. Although it's not classified as a fantasy film, Gene Kelly's Anchors Away had a fantasy sequence called The King Who Couldn't Dance, in which Gene did a song and dance number with Jerry Mouse from Tom and Jerry. Because these movies do not feature elements common to high fantasy or sword and sorcery pictures, some modern critics do not consider them to be examples of the fantasy genre. Topic 1950s In the 1950s there were a few major fantasy films, including Darby O'Gill and The Little People and The Five Thousand Fingers of Dr. T, the latter penned by Dr. Seuss. Jean Cocteau's Orphic trilogy, begun in 1930 and completed in 1959, is based on Greek mythology and could be classified either as fantasy or surrealist film, depending on how the boundaries between these genres are drawn. Russian fantasy director Alexander Tushko created three mythological epics from Russian fairy tales, Sadko 1953, Ilya Maromets 1956, and Sampo 1959. Japanese director Kenji Mizoguchi's 1953 film Agetsu Monogatari draws on Japanese classical ghost stories of love and betrayal. Other notable pictures from the 1950s that feature fantastic elements and are sometimes classified as fantasy are Harvey 1950, featuring a puker of Celtic mythology, Scrooge, the 1951 adaptation of Charles Dickens' A Christmas Carol, and Ingmar Bergman's 1957 masterpiece, The Seventh Seal. Disney's 1951 animated film Alice in Wonderland is also a fantasy classic. 
There were also a number of lower budget fantasies produced in the 1950s, typically based on Greek or Arabian legend. The most notable of these may be 1958's The Seventh Voyage of Sinbad, featuring special effects by Ray Harryhausen and music by Bernard Herrmann. Topic: 1960s. Harryhausen worked on a series of fantasy films in the 1960s, most importantly Jason and the Argonauts 1963. Many critics have identified this film as Harryhausen's masterwork for its stop-motion animated statues, skeletons, harpies, hydra, and other mythological creatures. Other Harryhausen fantasy and science fantasy collaborations from the decade include the 1961 adaptation of Jules Verne's Mysterious Island, the critically panned One Million Years BC starring Raquel Welch, and The Valley of Gwangi Capitalizing on the success of the sword and sandal genre several Italian B-movies based on classical myth were made, including the Masisti series. Otherwise, the 1960s were almost entirely devoid of fantasy films. The fantasy picture Seven Faces of Drive Lao, in which Tony Randall portrayed several characters from Greek mythology, was released in 1964. But the 1967 adaptation of the Broadway musical Camelot removed most of the fantasy elements from T. H. White's classic The Once and Future King, on which the musical had been based. The 1960s also saw a new adaption of Haggard's She in 1965 starring Ursula Andress as the immortal She Who Must Be Obeyed, and was followed by a sequel in 1968 The Vengeance of She based loosely on the novel Aisha, The Return of She both produced by Hammer Film Productions. 1968 also saw the release of Chitty Chitty Bang Bang based on a story by Ian Fleming with a script from Roald Dahl. 1970s fantasy elements of Arthurian legend were again featured, albeit absurdly, in 1975's Monty Python and the Holy Grail. Harryhausen also returned to the silver screen in the 1970s with two additional Sinbad fantasies, The Golden Voyage of Sinbad 1974 and Sinbad and the Eye of the Tiger 1977. The animated movie Wizards 1977 had limited success at the box office but achieved status as a cult film. There was also The Noah 1975 which was never released theatrically but became a cult favorite when it was finally released on DVD in 2006. Some would consider 1977's Oh God, starring George Burns to be a fantasy film, and Heaven Can Wait 1978, was a successful Bangsian fantasy remake of 1941's Here Comes Mr. Jordan, not 1943's Heaven Can Wait. A few low-budget Lost World pictures were made in the 1970s, such as 1975's The Land That Time Forgot. Otherwise, the fantasy genre was largely absent from mainstream movies in this decade, although 1971's Bedknobs and Broomsticks and Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory were two fantasy pictures in the public eye the former being predominantly from the same team who did Mary Poppins the latter again being from Roald Dahl in both script and novel. Topic. 1980s. 1980s fantasy films were initially characterized by directors finding a new spin on established mythologies. Ray Harryhausen brought the monsters of Greek legends to life in Clash of the Titans while Arthurian law returned to the screen in John Borman's 1981 Excalibur. Films such as Ridley Scott's 1985 Legend and Terry Gilliam's 1981-1986 trilogy of fantasy epics Time Bandits, Brazil, and The Adventures of Baron Munchausen explored a new artist-driven style featuring surrealist imagery and thought-provoking plots. The modern sword and sorcery boom began around the same time with 1982's Conan the Barbarian followed by Krull and Fire and Ice in 1983, as well as a boom in fairy tale-like fantasy films such as Ladyhawk The Princess Bride and Willow 
The 1980s also started a trend in mixing modern settings and action movie effects with exotic fantasy-like concepts. Big Trouble in Little China 1986, directed by John Carpenter and starring Kurt Russell, combined humor, martial arts and classic Chinese folklore in a modern Chinatown setting. Highlander, a film about immortal Scottish swordsmen, was released the same year. Jim Henson produced two iconic fantasy films in the 80s, The Solemn The Dark Crystal and The More Whimsical and Lofty Labyrinth. Meanwhile, Robert Zemeckis helmed Who Framed Roger Rabbit, featuring various famous cartoon characters from animation's Golden Age, including Mickey Mouse, Minnie Mouse, Donald Duck, Bugs Bunny, Daffy Duck, Droopy, Wile E. Coyote and Road Runner, Sylvester the Cat, Tweety Pie, and Jiminy Cricket, among others. Topic. 1990s. Bram Stoker's Dracula Edward Scissorhands Ghost in the Machine The Green Mile Groundhog Day The Indian in the Cupboard Hook Dragonheart Jumanji Meet Joe Black Nightbreed Princess Mononoke, Mononoke Heim, The Wind in the Willows Mr. Toad's Wild Ride Kazam Matilda Toy Story Toy Story 2 Topic 2017 again 2009 300 2006 Alvin and the Chipmunks 2007 2009 2011 2015 Big Fish 2003 Bridge to Terabithia 2007 The Brothers Grimm 2005 The Chronicles of Narnia 2005 2008 2010 Coraline 2009 Corpse Bride 2005 Crouching Tiger Hidden Dragon 2000. The Curious Case of Benjamin Button 2008 D. War 2007 Dorian Gray 2009 Elf 2003 Enchanted 2007 Aragon 2006 Fat Albert 2004 The Golden Compass 2007 Harry Potter 2001 to 11 The Hexer 2001 How the Grinch Stole Christmas 2000 Howl's Moving Castle 2004 the Imaginarium of Dr. Parnassus 2009 Imagine That 2009 in the Name of the King, A Dungeon Siege Tale, 2007, Inkheart, 2008, The Invention of Lying, 2009, King Kong, 2005, Lady in the Water, 2006, Lemony Snicket's A Series of Unfortunate Events, 2004, Looney Tunes, Back in Action, 2003. The Lord of the Rings 2001-03 The Lovely Bones 2008 Monsters Inc. 2001-2013 Nanny McPhee 2005 Night Watch 2004 Pan's Labyrinth 2006 Pirates of the Caribbean 2003 2006 2007 2011 2017 Race to Witch Mountain 2009 The Science of Sleep 2006 The Seeker 2007 The Master of Disguise 2002 Shrek 2001 2004 2007 2010 The Spiderwick Chronicles 2008 Spike 2008 Spirited Away 2002 Stardust 2007 Twilight 2008 to 12 Underworld 2003 2006 2009 2012 2016 Where the Wild Things Are 2009 Zathura A Space Adventure 2005 Peter Pan 
Topic 2010s Abraham Lincoln, Vampire Hunter 2012, Aladdin 2019, Alice in Wonderland 2010, Alice in Wonderland 2, Through the Looking Glass 2016, Aquaman 2018, A Wrinkle in Time 2018, Bahubali, The Beginning 2014, Bahubali 2, The Conclusion 2017, Beauty and the Beast 2017, Black Panther 2018, Brahmastra 2019, Brave 2012 Christopher Robin 2018 Cinderella 2015 Clash of the Titans 2010 and its 2012 sequel Wrath of the Titans Conan the Barbarian 2011 Crimson Peak 2015 Dark Shadows 2012 Doctor Strange 2016 Fantastic Beasts The Crimes of Grindelwald 2018 Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them 2016 Frozen 2013 Goosebumps 2015 Gulliver's Travel 2010 Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part 1 2010 Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part 2 2011 Hop 2011 How to Train Your Dragon 2010 to 19 Immortals 2011 Into the Woods 2014 Jack the Giant Slayer 2010 John Carter 2012 Life of Pi 2012 Maleficent 2014 Mary Poppins Returns 2018 Maximum Shame 2010 Midnight in Paris 2011 Mirror Mirror 2012 Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children 2016 Oz the Great and Powerful 2013 Paddington 2014 Pan 2015 Percy Jackson and the Olympians Sea of Monsters 2013 Percy Jackson and the Olympians The Lightning Thief 2010 Pete's Dragon 2016 Peter Rabbit 2018 Prince of Persia The Sands of Time 2010 Puss in Boots 2011 Sardar G 2015 Punjabi Scott Pilgrim vs. The World 2010 Snow White and the Huntsman 2012 Song of the Sea 2014 Sucker Punch 2011 The BFG 2016 The Hobbit 2012 to 14 The Jungle Book 2016 the Kid Who Would Be King 2019 The Last Airbender 2010 The Lorix 2012 The Muppets 2011 The Nutcracker and the Four Realms 2018 The Shape of Water 2017 The Sorcerer's Apprentice 2010 Thor Ragnarok 2017 Thor The Dark World 2013 Thor 2011 Toy Story 3 2010 Wonder Woman 2017 Your Highness 2011 Topic See also Fantasy television List of fantasy films